<clears throat> you have to forgive me. I'm uh, making some videos. I wanted to eat a little Milky Way candy bar before I get started. And no, I'm not being paid to advertise them. I just happen to buy some. They're good. Mmm. Wow. Mmm. Mmm. It's good. With some energy just well. Mmm. Mmm. Growing up, I liked Milky Way. It wasn't until an adult I liked the Snickers, and the Snickers had peanuts, and I didn't used to like that, but now as an adult, I got the point where I can take Milky Way or Snickers. Okay, <clears throat> the point of this video, which has nothing to do with the point of this video, the point of this video I want to talk about is Speedline helmets for welders. And as many of you know, or don't know, if you don't know, let me tell you. Uh, I started welding in high school, my junior and senior year. My sophomore year, I took uh, two machine shop classes, and then my uh, junior and senior year, I took welding. And then after that, I spent a year at the Hobart Institute of Welding Technology in Troy, Ohio. And this is one of my welding hoods. I've had this for some time. And it's a speed light helmet. Now, it's not the newest speed glass. In fact, it's the, for those of you who are keeping track, it's the speed glass 9000V. And, <clears throat> what it does, I don't, I don't know if you're going to see this, I'm going to try to do the best I can with the light I've got here, but it's got for stick and MIG welding, uh, and TIG, you know what I'm saying, stick, MIG, and TIG, uh, it's got shades 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And then at the bottom it has another, uh, um, setting for TIG that's 9, 11, and 13, but the sensitivity is adjustable. Whereas on the top shades for 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, uh, uh, SMAW, GMAW, and GTAW, it's automatic. But for the 9, 11, 13 sensitivity and TIG on the bottom, the sensitivity is adjustable. That means uh, how quick it takes for the lens to go dark, which to me, I want when the light boom, I want it to go dark. So I turn it to a small time, as small as possible. Okay. Now, a lot of newer ones have different setups, and they, I mean they do. But basically, it's the same thing. When the welding arc goes bright, the lens goes dark. The lens on the inside. Okay. Let me take this. Now, what do you have here? Let me. One of the things I want to show you is you take this off. Now, this has been painted. Pops out, not a little bit, but not too much work. Then you pop the top off, and this part comes off. And what you do, this is a ventilation so you can breathe easy. And what you do is you take this thing off. Now, this right here cost about 75 cents to a dollar, depending on what company and who you have make it, or who's, who's the manufacturer of it. But this is about a dollar, give or take. And you'll go through these. And like I said, you can if you want to. You can sit here and you can Windex and wash them. But eventually you're going to have to throw this away. Because it is, it's, a, it's a protective plate. Okay. I don't know if there's any different numbers or anything you want to do. This one's, this one's actually made by Speed Glass. And what it's doing is protecting this sensor here, this sensor here, and this entire plate. Now you do not want to weld like this. You you want a protective plate to cover this because this right here is very expensive. The sensors, especially this glass right here, is very expensive. So anytime you're going to be actually using it, you want to have the plate. Put the put the plates those two little. Put the plates on. Put your cover protection, and then push it on the top. So it snaps in good and tight, and between this plastic and this plastic, the actual glass is very well protected from any sparks and uh, molten metal that's going to be hitting you or bouncing off your face. Now, of course, you're, you have an adjustable head 
headpiece there and an adjustable head strap. Okay. Now it's also got an on off switch. So you want to make sure that when you're using it, you turn it on. Okay. I don't think we have anything in this room bright enough to really make it go dark because the welding light is very bright and it easily turns it on. But we don't think we. No, that light's not bright enough, and I'm sure those aren't either. But anyway, when the welding, when you strike an arc and it gets real bright, those two either either sensor detects it, it turns it on automatically. It turns it, turns it depending on what shade of darkness you've got it set to, it turns it to that darkness. It's really cool technology, and. What you do, you wear it like this, and you weld like this, and you got both hands free. Okay, so that's a big advantage over the manual shields. Okay, because you see, what you have to do is sit here and get your stuff ready, hold down your helmet, or flip it on your helmet, hope it gets to the right place, and then 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 try to start welding. Well, with this, I can already I can put it down. And I can see what I'm doing before I start welding. And I don't have to adjust my helmet. Once it's down, I can adjust it, do what I need to do, start welding, finish welding, you know, start and stop as many times as I need to, and um, do the length of welding I need to do. And I don't have to, I don't have to keep lifting up this helmet. Whereas with the manual helmets and the traditional, you'd have to either flip them back up, or a lot of people even have the helmets where they sit here and they have a handle on the bottom, and they hold them like this. You've probably seen TV shows and stuff where they do that, but. That's the old way. This is the new way. Now the history behind this is these were designed from technology uh, around World War II, and the glass what they what the glass was made for is was for jet fighters and bombers that originally practiced and would eventually deliver the nuclear bombs. What would happen is the bombs, especially the nuclear bombs, would when they dropped them, the bright light would be very uh, intense, and they needed something to protect the pilots from the, the pilot's eyes that were flying the planes. So they developed this technology to put over the windshields of these planes that were dropping both big bombs, especially the nuclear bombs, back when you know we were in hence of World War II. So they developed this technology. Of course, later they developed for welders, and it's. It's, very, it's been very highly accepted by the welding community because it's it's a great leap forward. If you've ever tried to do it without this technology, and then got it, you'll quickly see the advantage to this technology. Now let me show you the other thing. Let's see if I can see if it's not too much trouble here. I'm gonna pop out the plate here. I don't know if I'll do that right now. It might take a little bit of time to do it, but basically what you do, I'll just, I'm not gonna do it right now, but you can pop out this thing, and there's a double a, a double A battery you put in here, and it lasts a long time. I mean, these batteries. I mean, this is believe, for what considering what you're doing. The uh, one double A battery lasts a very long time. It's very low power, yet it's very powerful in what it does, and gives the welder the ability to do. So speed glass helmets, and again, the speed glass. Uh, speed glass is like Kleenex. Um, Kleenex is a name brand. Speed glass is a name brand. There are different companies that make the automatic darkening, what well, well, we should call automatic darkening. So when you go and say you want to go into some, certain companies, they'll say speed glass. You mean automatic darkening helmet? Yeah, because speed glass is a name brand. So you want to keep that in mind when you go looking for one. Um, but but they do make, in my opinion, they make the best ones uh, on the market. And like I said, they've got they've got things in here for you can breathe. They even make some helmets with fans on the top. I mean. Depending on how much money you want to spend, uh, so they make good stuff. But that's the ba the basics of the speed glass or the automatic darkening welding helmet. Um, so I hope you found this video uh, informative and educational, and give you a little something to think about uh, if you're planning on becoming a welder or going further in your welding career and spending some thinking about spending on whether you should buy one of these uh, or not. Let me tell you, the investment is completely worth it if you're going to use it. If you're going to do any kind of serious welding at all, uh, it's well worth the investment. I, I realize that something like this, depending on the name brand and the coil, it can be anywhere from, they have cheap ones that are one shade, around 150 bucks, give or take, to this one, the multi-shade, uh, goes from 9 to 13, and this was about $450, brand new. 
So they can be rather expensive, but if you're going to be doing, doing any kind of serious welding, that cost is nothing uh, compared to what you're going to, how you're going to be using it and get the use out of it. So, something to think about. So until next time, I'm Marilyn Roof saying thanks for watching. Have a good day, and may God bless.